Hello everyone, we will discuss about the use of subtemplate in BIP report in this video. By using subtemplate, any global changes are simplified and require updation of only subtemplate instead of each individual template. This is our case scenario for this example. Here we will display the address of business unit in the report based on the business unit name passed in the parameter and that address details will be available in the subtemplate. We will create one RTF template and will register that template as a subtemplate in BIP catalog. Then we will call that subtemplate in the main report template. Let's see how the subtemplate look like. So this is our RTF template address.rtf. Here I have defined two small template. One is USA address and another one is IM address. Within this template, I have given the address details of USA and here I have given the address details of India business unit. So this is the format of the subtemplate. Now I will register this address.rtf template as a subtemplate in BIP. Let's log in into Fusion SAS instance. Now we get to report and analytics under tool section. Click on browse catalog. Click on new drop down and select sub template. I will upload that RTF template here. Browse that file. Template type will be RTF, locally will be English and click on OK. You can enter a description here. Click on save. I will save this sub template in our custom folder. Training VIP. Sub template underscore e d d r click on ok now click on return now i will create data model of the report this is our sql query that is going to be used in the data model and this query is based on ap invoices all table i will pass business unit name as a parameter in the report query let's create a data model Click on new drop down and select data model. Select SQL query. Enter a data set name. Data set will be application DB FSCM. This is the query. Click on OK. Select this PBU name as a parameter. Enter display level. Now I will create one LOV for this parameter. BU LOV type is SQL query. Data source is FSCM. This is a query of the LOV which will retrieve the business unit name from the table. Now I will attach this LOV in the parameter. Parameter type will be menu list of values BU LOV. Now save this data model. I will save this data model in our custom folder. Select training VIP, enter name, click on OK. Now 
Now click on view data. Select one business unit, US one business unit and click on view. This is the data related to US one business unit. As I have given row number less than equals to 5, it will retrieve only the first 5 rows. You can select India business unit also. Now save as sample data. Click on OK. I will use this India business unit and US1 business unit for our example. So I have just copied this to name here. Now we will create main RTF template of the report where sub template will be called. This is the template and I will import the sub template here. I will write the import command. Import colon xdoxsl colon. Then I will enter the path of the sub template. It reside under custom financials training BIP slash then sub template name. Sub template is saved as dot SSB extension in Fusion BIP. I will mention the parameter name here in the template which I have defined in the data model. param at begin colon pbu name this parameter name should match exactly with the parameter name that is passed in the data model query i will enter one if condition here and call the sub template on the basis of condition Here I will enter BU name as US1 business unit. If BU name is US1 business unit, then we will call USA address template. Then I will end the if condition here. Again I will enter one more if condition. If business unit is India business unit. then call IN address so this USA underscore address and IN address is available in the sub template that is address dot RTF save this report go back to data model click on create report select use report editor and click on finish Enter a meaningful name of this report. Click on OK. Now I will upload this RTF template in the report. Enter layout name, test AP layout. Browse that file. 
type will be RTF template, locally will be English. Click on upload. I will change the default output format. Go to viewer list and select PDF. I will unselect the auto run option in the properties. Save this report. Now click on view report. Select US1 business unit. It should display the address of US only. Click on apply. See it has displayed the address of USA. Now I will select India business unit and click on apply. It will display the address of India address which I have defined in the sub template. This is how we can call the sub template in our main template to reduce our effort in the report building. Hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you.